He must be from Iceland you or something. Not tough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it says, watch over in the prudent eye and marvel not as she trespasses. <laughs> she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. Hey, start at the beginning Lord. of that for him. This is the Lord referring to these goddamn women. Yeah, let, hey, start at the beginning. This is talking about uh, women. That's what, especially your daughters. You got any daughters? No, I never had children, but uh, uh, I have a lot of children. Well, this is how we're supposed to raise our children. Listen to this. All right, all right. Drunk no. With a woman. Oh, With a young woman. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her high lids. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straight, that she abuse herself without much liberty. Free, you know, freedom. You can't just letting your little children, daughter, run in the streets, right. doing whatever she wants. Come in at any fucking hours of the night and day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's a whole, that's common in the hood, though. Yeah. That's common in the hood. Is it? Yeah, you know? Cause let me tell you something. My old, my young, my youngest kids. When I was picking her up, her, her mom, their mom. Yeah. She, the mom didn't give a damn. She saw a nigga rolling up in the car, and she's 16 years old. She's happy to get rid she's of. Happy. I was taking her back and forth to school and everything. Right, right. But the mama didn't give a damn, man. You know, which is she really? You know, even though her daughter was a woman, yeah. she didn't know. Right. She didn't know, but still, she didn't give what? a damn. Wait, she was know. actually trying to give me. Oh yeah, she's from the devil now. The <laughs> devil's anal raping her right now. You know, she's a fucking demon. I said, it says, watch over and prove that I am marvel not that she trespass against me. Yeah, don't be all amazed when your daughter goes and so you hear about boy, she suck a good dick. You hear that about your daughter? Hey, you find out you find out your daughter on Pornhub. Yeah, your daughter on Pornhub. Can you imagine that shit, man? Yeah, pulling tricks. Cause I love yeah. watching them bitches with bitches. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I feel you know. Yeah, you know, he's feeling real. But you see that shit, man? Yeah, he's real. Yeah, you don't get off Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, Jesus, the the love. Love. Yeah. right, right, right. You remember, um, don't remember Larry Fishburne? Larry, Fishburne. you know who Larry Fishburne is? You remember his daughter got on the news? Her name, her poor name was Chippy D. Oh, Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, Lawrence Fishburne. That and bitch had porn all Lawrence, over, yeah, all over the world. Yeah, he didn't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a freak. <laughs> right, he's right. A weirdo. He probably introduced her to it. You know, he just, it just come out. He's a fruitcake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something weird about that. Definitely yeah. different. Yeah. Well, he's set up. He's in part. He's making that money. He's you see up. the way he walks around. He dresses weird and everything. Right. Yeah, you know, he's he's, you can see he's set up because he got a lot yeah. of that shit taken off the internet. Yeah. He yep. must have some little power. Oh, he got that shit taken off. He took a, had a lot of, but they keep uploading it though. Yeah, that's Morpheus. Yeah, Morpheus, right. That is Morpheus. That's <laughs> yeah, right. That's Morpheus. right. That's no, right. Character in the played. Matrix. It's a character he played. Lawrence in, uh, Fishburne played uh, Morpheus in right. that movie, The Matrix. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Hey, The Matrix, man. Shit. Yeah, it is. The whole damn series is bad. These fools out here are yeah. sleeping in The Matrix. That's bad as hell, man. Yeah. Keanu Reek. What's it? Keanu Reek. Keanu. Yeah, I never really cared for him. I don't know why. Yeah, he kind of lifeless. That's right. That's right. You know there is. <laughs> it says, "Watch over and prove I am marvel not if she trespass against me. She will open her mouth." Listen to this. She will open her mouth. She will open her about mouth. To go wrong. Listen, it's about to go wrong. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. It's about to go Listen. Wrong. She will open her mouth as a thirst as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain. And drink up every water near her. She's gonna you drink know up. What that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think Something that's swallowing it all. There's a sperm yeah, wound. That, that's all called a bukkake. There's a yeah, sperm that's vacation that's going on in her stomach. Yeah. <laughs> it's much love. All right, right. right. And that's that bukkake right there. Though. That's right. He's gonna drink a ball. <laughs> yeah. He know the bukkake. Uh, that's the slow man. Way more set up. By every hedge will she sit down. By every hedge, she's gonna sit down. And open her quiver against every arrow. You know, they love that new popular thing, the reverse cowboy, cowgirl. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Yeah, she can sit down everywhere and everything. <laughs> <laughs> they love them books that come out with the 305 different positions to have sex. She can't find one, she'll get one in the uh, yep. suction cup once, pop it on the wall. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's, hey, they, that's why Geek is so hot, man. Cause some sex, cause some sex toys they sell, man. Oh yeah. They got motherfucking sex toys. They got pussies for a man to put and make it look like they got pussies. 
I know, I know they got everything. them dolls, don't they? Yeah, they got all, they got everything. On they got the new dolls, they look real. Everything, man. Like the booties hey, look no, real no, and everything. They be looking for lump shoes. I, I see that, I was like, damn. Right, right, I was like, is that real? Like, damn. I told you, a client of ours, man, clean it, he got one, he got a full one. I wanted to take pictures, but I can't, I can't do it. I'm trying to still take pictures of it, man, because oh, you gotta see it to believe it, man. His look like a little eater mic, though. <laughs> Built like one. <laughs> <laughs> Like a little they look crazy out here. But it look real though when you see it. It look real as shit. And look, it's my damn near my type. My damn near my type. Man. Man. Look at this the whole goodness. <laughs> this man is this. That's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> he was going through the most high's mind making Esau like. Right, right. Like right. Very bad <laughs> the most high was just having a good old time, yeah. boy. In your kingdom, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to look like a king, man. You know, in your kingdom, you're supposed to be gorgeous. You're supposed to be beautiful in your kingdom, man. Oh, they say, Mary King Solomon was beautiful. Yeah, oh yeah, you know. You but know. Esau looking like the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, they look like, like, uh. True. Eagle. Like, like, yeah, like the <laughs> goblins and yeah. stuff, hobgoblins. They don't look healthy, but they are healthy, though. Yeah. But they don't look healthy. They're not, there's no beauty of them. There's absolutely no beauty. We have a giant liver spots all over their face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. It's pre-cancer. <laughs> liver spots are pre-cancer. <laughs> and well, they be drinking that children's blood too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the thing that just came out too, like last book of weeks ago. That adrenal crown? Yeah. Drinking fucking blood. Yeah, they get that drug out of it called adrenochrome. They get that adrenaline pumping through the bloodstream when they kill them, and they got to drink it fresh, and it gives them it gives them a high. That shit, that shit is more powerful than cocaine. It's gorgeous, man. She's fucking amazing. That? That's a mad scientist that figured that shit out. That's a straight up mad scientist, man. With them ancient uh, priests. And there is probably a science to it, but the multi, it has to have this opposite reaction too to or, or effect. Yeah, awesome. Well, so the reason most high say don't drink blood. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, there's no, yeah, you're not supposed to drink no blood. Like, you ain't supposed to eat no bloody steaks. No. I ain't never ate no bloody steaks. Yeah, they said, they said, uh, bloody meat is like the worst type of meat to eat. Tell these fools that. They look at you stupid if you, if you can order a steak or something, and I'd be like, I want mine well done. Everybody, everybody looks at you like you're stupid. You know what I mean? Like, to get you like a stupid yeah, bro. like, bro, I'm not eating no fucking blood, bro. That's just nasty. I hate when people get cut in the figure and they suck it and shit. All those good. <laughs> no, that's nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. Right. Leviticus 3 and 17. It shall be a perpetual statute for your generation throughout all your dwellings that ye eat neither fat nor blood. Oh, you're not supposed to eat fat. Right. Hey, so that really means you're not supposed to be eating hamburgers either. Damn that shit. You know, you know, hamburgers made about what 50 50 lean fat depends uh, how they make it, right? Yeah, right. Really, I mean, I know that's just delicious, but well, the frying it maybe take a lot of it, yeah, it probably out. does take a lot of it out. Fried food is bad for you, though, yeah, that's bad for you. Oh, so I said, don't eat this, but there's a reason that right? fat going to going to clog your arteries up, exactly what it does, it actually does that. But you know, some of these fat people that's their favorite, baby. You see them slurping it up. Pop, it's good. Pop, I can't even say it. They get stuck together. I knew this one guy that he would like when they had people eating or whatever. He would go around getting everybody's fat that they didn't want. He loved it. Did he use bread though to suck it up? I don't know how he just. I, see I didn't watch this bread. bread. To clean their oh plate. yeah. All the uh. All the fat. All that's the fat. That's nasty. All that fat, man. All the uh. That's disgusting. You know? I don't eat meat well, at all. Fuck that. Yeah. But of course, this went out in one ear and out the other. <laughs> they ain't trying to hear this. The same one? Let go back up. You got people nowadays, they call themselves vampires and they drink it like they get a boyfriend or girlfriend, vampire couple get together and they drink each other's blood. That's popular nowadays. 
I be listening to like Coast to Coast or uh, what's some other show to come on late night? The one here in Columbus. Uh, what's that one that comes on right before uh, Coast to Coast? You know what I'm talking about? I forget what it's called. It's but I was just listening to the show a couple months ago. They had a woman on there. She was a vampire. She liked to drink blood. But a lot of these people out here are satanic, bro. They get uh, satanic tattoos, you know, upside down pentagrams, you know, goats, Baphomet. They wear ba You see, Baphomet t shirts are popular. You know that, right? That's hot shit. That shit's everywhere. These people out here are actually devil worshipers. And they actually, I know, I know a lot of people who actually claim to be Satan. And they're proud of that shit. It says, and whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will either set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among the his people. That's something the heathens Secret societies, because you know that's yep. all they're doing in their secret societies. Eating blood, drinking yep. blood. Because uh, my kid's mom, her dad told her, once, they say in Skull of Bones, you got to drink out the uh, the skulls they got in there. Skull. The skull cups. I was arguing with somebody yesterday about, I was on the Alex Jones article, how, about that Sandy Hook, how he just got found, he got to pay him or something, the victims. But he, I was talking about how the, the courts are all controlled by the secret societies, and this dude tried to tell me they don't exist. He's like, well, if they're secret, secret, how do you know about it? But they got videos on YouTube. They got George Bush and John Kerry both telling you they can't talk about it because it's secret. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. They actually said they can't talk about that. Who's he talking to? I'm right, man. My kids are doing the roof. Man, they probably argued about the Cowboys or something. Yeah, yeah. Talking about we them boys. <laughs> What's up, bro? You can get on there and mark yourself, though. You know, mark yourself, man. As we in the press, we the Lord's work. You can't make mockery of this man. This is a serious thing. You grow up and be a man, man. <laughs> Put away them childish things. For life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it unto you. Unto the, upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, no soul to the children. Damn. Same for everybody, I guess. <laughs> Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, no soul of you shall eat blood. How do you want your steak, sir? Ma'am? Medium rare? I seen motherfuckers eat it raw though. Yeah, it's nasty. Not even, not even throw it on the stove, man. Just eat it raw. Motherfucker like eating that hamburger just raw. Man. That's actually popular. Like the There's a bunch of videos on YouTube. I think they call it the paleo diet or something. Oof. Where they eat nothing but meat, and mo most of the time they eat raw meat. Oh, God. dude came back to health. He had a video, man. He was sick as fuck. Never gonna figure out why until he ate some raw meat. He just came alive. Cut. Fucking eat him. You gotta cook that meat anyway, all the parasites and shit. You don't know what's in that shit. It says, and whatsoever man there be of the children of Israel again, or of the strangers, the strangers of Israelites, that soldier among you, which hunteth and catcheth any beast or fowl that may be eaten, he shall eat and walk out of the blood thereof and cover it with dust. Cover it with dust. It's supposed to this pour it out cover. Cause right, he said that, that that blood was for the sacrifice, right? Yes. For it is the life of all flesh. Oh, it's yeah. Blood is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore, I said unto the children of Israel, children of Israel, ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. For the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. Damn, he said you gonna get cut off for, for, eat, cut off. for eating blood. Like Dave Chappelle when he was working at well, oh, yeah, you cut off. McDonald's cut his girl off. He's like, yeah, you cut off. <laughs> yeah, from the burgers and stuff, right? <laughs> He's like, you cut off. <laughs> cut off. Man, you get cut off from Israel for 
But these people do that every day. They, every time they go out to eat, they get what? Oh, give me a steak, medium rare. And Jake do it too. Not just Esau. They've been taught by Esau to do all this foul shit. They've been taught to eat pork, eat bloody meat, eat shrimp. I did that shit one time, man. I didn't have, have to. I just wanted to. I could never. My food. It went raw. It was just having yeah, blood. Yeah, little pink. And I felt my body. I felt bad afterwards too. When I was my a conscience little, and everything, man. Ever since I was a little kid, I wouldn't touch nothing with no pink in it. I was scared to death of it. Like, oh, that's fucking bloody. Like, I'm not tell you, I'm not eating that. Man, I was terrified. They was trying to make me eat that shit. Cause you, you know, in your spirit that that ain't right. You know what I mean? That's actually with all the laws. You know, what's that scripture that says some of them you keep naturally keep the laws? shit. Not knowing it or something like that. I don't know, Paul said it somewhere. Hey, man. We naturally kept the law. I can't remember. Yeah, but some of us do. I just go into it, but I don't know where the exact scripture is. But Paul said something about some of us, even though we didn't know the truth, we still kind of naturally kept the law. Like, I don't think none of us got tattoos, do we? That's the spirit. And it's a, we didn't know that was against the law. We just know some of our spirit told us that shit wasn't right. You ain't supposed to get no fucking tattoos. Because you know in our spirit, we see all of our friends getting tatted up. And they like, they like, uh, ain't you gonna get one too? I made it out of the Marines with no tattoos. Everybody was getting tatted, you know? But some in our spirit just told us we, we knew that wasn't right. Just like we're eating that blood, we know that ain't right. Girls look so hit, you mistake them for trainees. It might be a trainee. I, let, I know that new line of, line of clothing they're about to release in all these stores, man. So can't tell the difference if it's men or women. Sure. They got pantyhose for men now. You see that? No, no. They got like designer pantyhose for men. It's got like little designs in it. Oh! Man, you wanna know, I seen the nastiest shit I ever seen in my life. Y'all should've seen this video I seen as, as people was passing around. There was this uh, like heavy metal band and they made a bet. They was making a bet for this guitar effects pedal. This dude's like, I'll give you this guitar effects pedal if you uh, smoke a, a bowl of, a, you know what a dab is? When they take the weed resin and they smoke it and the dab, they, it's like the pure, THC or whatever, but he said, he made him a deal, he'll give him this uh, guitar pedal if he uh, uh, smokes smokes the dude's jizz. He fucking put sperm, they had somebody go jack off into it, he mixed it with the fucking, uh, the weed shit, and the motherfucker smoked it. Smoked. He smoked fucking jizz. <laughs> Just when you think you've seen it all, man. That's some shit you're supposed to die tomorrow. And that's like the new challenge now, smoking jizz. Oh. The smoke jizz challenge. Oh, my goodness. That's some shit you're supposed to die on the spot. Man. You smoke this fucking jizz? They are wise to do evil. But to I do seen that shit. I wish I could find the video. Do. I clicked off of it. All I got to find it, man. I'm going to search for my history. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Man, they smoking jizz, bro. You thought... I actually, my, these little pumas I got was warmer than my boots. I need, I can't even afford boots. They cost too much. I heard that shit worse than sitting without words, bro. You know they say that. That's better than cigarettes. That shit ain't better than cigarettes. That shit's still kills you too. Vaping? Yeah. They should. That shit is. They say they can't come off of it. They can't stop moving. With the vaping? Yeah. They said it causes, uh, what do they call it? Uh, popcorn lungs or something? Woo! To make it like, it has a different effect on your lungs than regular smoke. It like bubbles up or something? It's fucking them up. They don't even know. They don't even care. 
most high gonna shut this shit down, but they ain't gonna be able to fake no more. They gonna tear it. I hate that vapor shit because they let them do it in most buildings and stuff. Yeah, they be they blowing in giant puff clouds and shit. I saw a new vapor in the hospital. Like, oh, they gonna say shit to me? That shit's annoying as all hell. Right, right. Plus, it's different flavors. Treat the motherfuckers like children, man. It's tanks. Treat them like children, man. Give them different flavors and shit. Who is nigga? He like, he ain't even taking a break to us. Goddamn, nigga, take it easy. Take some. Get you a hit of air. Hey, you notice that shit too. You ever know, like, go out of town and come back when, as soon as you get back in the city, it gets hard to breathe. I went out to the, uh, you know, a couple months back. We went out a little bit out of the went hiking or something. Bro, as soon as I got back in the city limits, I couldn't breathe. Oh, fuck. I don't know how you live in New York. Funky ass air. I got back here, it's like, yeah. And this is. This I, shit is filthy. If you were in New York, I'm surprised you didn't fucking mutate. Shit, California, it's 100 times worse, I heard. Yeah, this, it, yeah you can see the smog yeah. in the morning in L.A. China, they walking around with masks and shit. Yeah. Oh, that's that oh, strong God, shit. Witnessing the downfall of our enemy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's a blessing that we are able to live and see it. Hopefully, we, Lord willing, we live through it, you know? Let me read this real quick. Let me get, I got one. Oh, what you got? I got one too. I, I just made a video on this. I want to read it again. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I would just start. I got, that takes too long. Let me get Psalm 46 and 7. Uh, says the Lord of hosts is with us. The Most High, uh, well, the power of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. That's fire. So when the Lord acts, when the Lord comes back to the earth, Esau going to try to fight him. He's going to come out of him. You're gonna burn a chair because the chariots is what? Anything from a tank, a Humvee, uh, the fighter jets, they gonna get burned. The Lord gonna burn. Them. They're actually preparing for it right now. It's like, well, see, the, the, the for unclean it. knows, so they're, they're going out to the moon and to Mars. They're talking about that a lot. They can't even leave the Mars. They can't even leave the atmosphere. Man. They ain't never been no motherfucking moon. There ain't no Chinese. They ain't nothing on the other there. side of the moon, man. They think they can make their habitation somewhere with the they're going to ask the rocks to fall on the floor. What they going to do to fall on the He trannies walking on the moon and shit. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? Damn. Tranny sending signals back to Mars. <laughs> like, what? You're like, uh... It's, they, they, they doing a test to see how trannies have sex on the Mars and how genetically it changes the body. You know, these devils is off the hook. Look at my boy Kurt, man. That used to be my nigga back in the day. Look at Kurt Kurt. Look at Kurt Kurt. What's up, that was my, that's my dog right there. Up, <laughs> yeah. Hey, remember we spent hours one night going over scriptures, huh? Yes, yeah, so did. Yeah. <laughs> we spent hours, man. Yeah, it, it was it was light. It, up, got, it was light when we was come, when we was finished, man. Yeah. It was light, got dark, and it was light when we were still in the backyard drinking. Yeah, well, just going over scriptures, man. It's good. We upload it to the internet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this on the internet right now? Yeah. Right, man. Right, yeah. Woo. You got these, you finished the scripture right? Oh, yeah, that's good. I just want to, you know, the Lord going to make this place desolate. Right. And what we're talking about, how we, it's, a, it's, it's Lord willing that we be given 
that opportunity to make it through this. That's what I got right here, you know, that um, it says Jeremiah 51 and 7, 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. With thee, you know, and who is thee? Thee is the elect, men. You know, ain't none of these bitches, these strong ass, so-called they call strong black women gonna be walking babies. around with power, walk around lifting car or stone in that motherfuckers, you know? It's men that he's gonna give this power to, man. And that's what these women think, these feminist bitches, that these lesbians. You go in the gyms downtown, man, these bitches is really working out hard, man. <laughs> They you think know, it's testosterone. Right. They are, though. Yeah, yeah. They are. How about something? They really are. They got to shave. They get on beards and everything, yeah. man, these bitches, man. But they got to shave every day, keep it clean. That's what everybody got. It's a counterfeit to anybody. Right, right, right. right. And the thing is with... Uh, they independent. Yeah, yeah. 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 They and they think with the lesbians, they still like dick because they use strap-ons. Yeah, yeah. They sure do. They from they lost. They confused, man. Yeah, they confused. Madness. Total madness, man. Total madness. And you know, and the thing is, this is the most highest work, though. There's so many videos being uploaded to the internet. These bitches are knocking yeah. men out now. Yeah, yeah I see a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my you know, God. It ain't that the women are strong yeah. now. It ain't that they strong as shit. It's just these niggas is weak. They ain't working out. Yeah. They ain't eating right. They ain't healthy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm sorry. I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I put a bitch in the, uh, in the Boston Crab, bro. I killed what? a bitch within 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Like, no, I, actually, I could never, I could never hit a woman, bro. That's wrong. Like, no, nah, I would never do that. Oh, bro. Okay, nah, I never, actually, I never really had to hit a woman. Oh shit, I used to beat the shit out of. Bitches. I just, it just choked the shit out, man. I used to beat the shit out of my bitches, man. They pissed me off. A lot of them, I ain't gonna lie. And I'm just using the truth. I'm being honest. A lot of them like it, man. They, they, they encourage me. I do like that. I was told one time, at least I'm getting some attention. It's better than no attention. You know, but I ain't just being, you know, for me, I ain't gonna lie, when I was young, when you're young, you, that jealousy, you can't control it a lot of times. You may, I had a bad dream, woke up from her, in your dream, she made me boning some nigga, you wake up, I, I would wake up and smack the living shit out of her, man. You know, Lord my witness, man, I used to be off the hook, man. I used to be off the hook, man. You know, betrayal, it's, it's interesting, in this time, betrayal's normal. Everybody's used to jumping around everybody else, man. Like, that's a delicate quote, man. That's a delicate quote. Lord says a wicked and adulterous generation. That was his, like, favorite saying. He'd always say that. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Right. Adulterous generation. Adulterous generation. Well, ain't no, they don't see nothing wrong with that, though. They don't even know, I don't think they even know what adultery is. Right. It says, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Ooh. And with thee will I break it. Will I destroy kingdoms? And with thee will I break in pieces the horses and his rider. And with thee, he loves saying with thee, yep. will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. People don't even realize, man, we're gonna be joint heirs with the Lord. So of course he wants us to have that same power he's gonna have, man. That, that same uh, power, man. And hey, what's the point of having some power that your boy ain't got none? That's some stuff wicked, man. You know? Like if I got some, I want I want the brother to have it too. You know? Yeah. That's brother. That's brotherly brother love, love, man. Yeah. You know? Not comparing and competing and trying to Yeah, yeah. I ain't, never, I ain't never had that spirit in me, man. Jealousy and shit. Now, I hear jealousy. Look at my we window. Gone. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> my only thing. We like, are going like, to compete. But if you got something, you can do something, man. I'm happy as hell for a motherfucker, man. We're going to compete to see who's going to throw eat a Mike Baby's the farthest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eat a Mike Baby. Bet you mine's hit the sun. <laughs> like, he's a try. <laughs> see if I can make it across the, this valley right here. <laughs> That's going to be awesome, man. This is literal, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got, I got another literal one for you after that one. It says, with thee also will I break in pieces the man and the woman. Oh, wait a minute. And the man and the woman? I got to read that again. Why would, why would the Lord do that? It says, with thee, I'm just reading, make that, sure I'm not reading it wrong, man. Yeah, you gotta, it says, you let me highlight it. <laughs> with thee also, will I break in pieces man and woman. Man and woman. Yes. Look, misogynist. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hey, the most high ain't playing, man. My, my battery's getting juiced out. I think it's that cold weather. I mean, it's, it seems like a lot of the verses where he says that 
Yeah, the King James. Yeah, I may pretty much say the same thing. It said, uh, King James always sounds good. I hear them other Bibles, it just don't sound right. To me. So, so King James says, Thus saith the Lord, you know, always right there. Trust in the man, yeah, I know you and make his flesh his heart, yeah. and whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like a king, like a king in the desert. He shall not see one good coming, but shall have had it with harsh places in the wilderness. That's what these fools got. They got the parched land. They got, we over here at the oasis. You know what I mean? Just getting that good water, the good fruits. They out here out in the out in the desert, they can try to eat a scorpion or something to survive. Yeah. Oh, you think the hole. So when, yeah. there, when there's not going to be a habitation where it seems like there's gonna be a drought, we're not gonna lack. Damn. Man, that lack. cold weather must be killing my battery, man. What's up? That's what it is. My shit always remember. Every yeah. year we'd be complaining about the same thing, right, cold weather. I charge my batteries batteries. like literally all night. Some bullshit. I saw the kid. You know the kid that stopped and had a bunch of questions? Yeah, like, like, I don't know. What, what day was it? I can't remember. It's it something. had to be a few months ago. Yeah. He showed up and asked questions. And yeah. He didn't treat him like a scuff. Right. You know, but there we were like, you know, he's got disobedience because he's asking the same questions. wanting different answers. So I'm on the bus again, and he's like, oh, you're the Hebrew Israelite. I'm like, he's like, what they camp? I was like, we're not in a camp. I'm not in a camp amongst these brothers, but, you know, he's wanting to know how he can become a Hebrew. And I was like, first. Hey. That's yeah. a funny question. <laughs> I said, you got to keep the commandments if you love God. What about this guy? Can he become a Hebrew Israelite? Derp alert. Looking ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Smack. So what is up with this city, bro? There's too many goofy motherfuckers. I mean, you just laugh at these people, because, bro. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, man. The, the Lord, bro, like we said, the most high, bro, he just had a good old time when he was creating these yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could you imagine being there with the most high while he's creating these fools? Oh, he knew they were going to be shy. He knew a lot of people were going to be test for us. You know, but you know, he, he gives people a chance to get closer to him, but again, he's already separated sheep from the goat and the shaft from the wheat this time. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's already doing it. And, and people, there is no neutral. Ain't no neutral. Nah, ain't no neutral. Ain't no neutral. Look warm, motherfucker. Look warm. Short little time, right? Yeah, though. Like, uh. <laughs> This is a creature. Creepers are coming out today. <laughs> I got uh, uh, Isaiah 26 and 5. It says, For, when well, we start at 4, it says, uh, Trust in Yahweh forever, for in Yahweh is everlasting strength. And he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city he oh, gave. Oh, that's Esau getting brought down. So this, this, this world is going down. This government going down. NATO is going down. United States is going down. You know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. America? That gives like, you believe in the most high, right? Y'all know the most high is real. So you know this word is real. Then the, the Lord going to burn this bitch with fire. Wow. Imagine such a mean. It just, cause if you, to get that image in your head how big of destruction this is going to be, yeah. read Habakkuk yeah. 3. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because Habakkuk 3, he was like, like is, was the most high mad at the rivers? Is, was he just at the rivers? Because like uh, the scripture said that uh, Lord America could be destroyed completely. So the, the Roman nuclear missile is going to destroy 
fucking islands. And, uh, Destroy every goddamn thing. Grand Canyon gonna yeah. get fucked up. Yeah, Everything like, gonna get yeah, fucked up. Like, damn, uh, what's uh, Ezra's like, oh, what was me? Well, yeah. Who's gonna save me that day? Because it's gonna seem like you gonna be destroyed. That's how big it's gonna fucking be. So, the precursor of what happens to a nation who picks up bullies on other nations. And, like, right before Rebecca 3, it goes into talking about how they worship idols. You know what I mean? Like, it goes into talking about how, you know, the daughter of Babylon has done these things to these other nations, and these nations are gonna turn. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're going to turn on They say the same thing in Revelation. You built your house on blood? Like you built your house on war. Who do you think is going to happen? But that's that scripture in the book of Numbers where he says uh, the land cannot be cleansed by, by the blood it did this shed. It says blood required with blood. Yeah. Really? You plant a seed, it's going to grow what you plant it. That's what he told in Genesis when I... Uh, uh, I forgot how it went, but he said uh, if somebody gets killed, you know, uh, it's, he required that your blood is required. Pretty right, much. right. That's why if you kill somebody, you murder somebody, yeah, you get the death penalty. This is what you're saying. Habakkuk 25. Behold ye among the heathen in regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work and work in your days, which ye will not believe, so it be told. Hey, hey we told it so. They seen, they seen the works of the Lord. Actually, these people will come back in the reincarnation. They was back there. They seen the works of the Lord. They still deny it, you know? Yeah, that's right. They, 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 they was on, he was on a cross, and they said we had no king but Caesar. Yeah. They said crucify him. Crucify that's him. what all these people out here said. They was yeah. cheering him, crucify yeah. him. They got their wish, too. They probably had a drink, drinking, celebrating. Yeah. Yeah, they act right. like they was a night of the movies, watching yeah. the Lord get crucified. Yeah. Yeah. What's the, the day so this time when the Lord is coming back with his vengeance, man, he, the whole earth is gonna shake. <laughs> gonna shake like a rock to and fro like a shake. drunkard. So Matthew 24, 37. Oh, but as in the days of no word, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that they were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving and until the day that they were eating and not to the flood come and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. It's gonna be salty, all right. That was it, all right. Okay. This, uh, back to Isaiah 26 and 5 says, For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. Whew. The lofty city he layeth it low, he layeth it low. Hey, America, they call America that city. Well, they try to say America's that city set on the hill. They say it's a beacon of open freedom throughout the world. That's what they say. You know what they the president's speeches and shit? America's the. I think Reagan said it. We're that city on the hill. We're the light and the beacon of freedom and hope. That's what Trump White said. Yeah. The light to the nation. The light to the nation. Yeah, they try to say it's a light. They, so they're, they're using all the things of the world to try to counterfeit what's going on. Hey, a lot of the uh, evangelical Christians, they say America's the new Jerusalem. Sure do. They actually say that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm right in peace, but you feel that. Yeah, Wait a minute, no, that's why we got birth certificates, death certificates, those are receipts. So Social security it. numbers. Tell them about this shit. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm full sorry. Let's see what it is. Yeah. That could be just a toy That's to where get the people hungry a little bit, yeah. you know? You know? You know, ready to point Man, I'm fingers crazy. I pray every day that I shut down. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a fake man. I'll be praying. Like, I'll never like, open again. I'm a crying yeah. everything, man. Hey, Trump says lying, man. if he don't get the money, he going to uh, use emergency measures. Yeah, take from the, the disasters. Well, he's got to declare FEMA, martial law or something. Take a FEMA money. Yeah, he's holding off on that. He's going to do yeah. it, too. He's going to do it, too. He's he trying to do it the right way. Yeah. Oh, man. So that's where... That's what prayer does, man. It makes things happen. <laughs> it does. I be praying every day by it. It makes things oh, happen, man. Do not let this shit Just open back up. They tell you not to eat this grass. Then you talk to another person that said don't eat this grass. Or you eat oh. this grass, this gonna happen to you. Yes. 
Treaded down even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needle. That's how you said going back to the uh, bread that uh, uh Lord shall use us. That's the spider where actually works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's also a precept for that Deuteronomy 30, I think it was like 33, when it says that our, that our feet going to uh, stamp the high places of our enemies, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says the way of the. Oh, that was the action. Yeah. Spirit game? Hey! Oh, never mind. Let's just let her go. So we can give some of that spirit. No, no, no. We don't deal with that spirit. Meaning, I'm not talking about nothing in the bad thing. So, I'm going to first get into the bad thing. Right here, right now, I'm just saying that thing. That thing is. You like hearing yourself talk? <laughs> That's pretty much. That's actually a good question to ask. Piece of wisdom came out of the book. She crazy. And I was about to say so. He didn't to this time. To the most time, she kept on diverting into all this. Let's get back to the topic, though, because I, I want to get my precept. But he was just reading that scripture in uh, where was that? Uh, Jeremiah, right? It said the battle. Uh, the, the Lord gonna make Israel. He gonna use us to kill oh, our enemies. Yeah. 51. Well, I was gonna get that Obadiah because it said the same thing. Right. It's Obadiah 18. It says the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they, meaning Joseph, <laughs> we mean all 12 tribes of Israel. We gonna be that fire to flame. The Lord gonna give us power. That 144,000. Yeah. In the uh, we read it again. In the house of Jacob shall be a fire, the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining in the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. So the Lord gonna give us that power. Like what's that in scripture? We read a lot of this Yeah. He's gonna bring down the you know, bring knock this devil off his pedestal. That, that's gonna be the. Uh, is that is that Daniel, uh, uh, Daniel? Daniel, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yep. So we take, take it, take it, take. We ain't gonna be no. It ain't gonna be a polite and, and a, a, a quiet in a smoke filled room signing contract transfer. There gonna be no mercy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And there'll be no mercy to the devil. Right. But these Christians are gonna come out and be like, oh, you're supposed to love your enemy. So they take, they don't know how to. Shut up, boy, you know what that means. It's, it's a hidden spirit trying to get them to be lethargic in a time of war, in a time of being ready to go forward with what God is telling us, what the Most High is telling us. They take things. It's, it's a lethargic spirit. It's a lie. It's a spirit of, uh, if you're dying, it's a spirit. The scripture says, go unto him that hold back the spirit. They take scriptures out of context. Yeah. That's not the context, you know. uh, well, when you say love died enemy and all that, that's like when you about to get in a fight with somebody, you turn the other cheek. You know, it's like you beat a better man, walk away. You can convert a man. Into, into but it, you can but, walk away peacefully. But that's, that's not dealing with move. like going to war and the Lord giving us power to destroy our enemies. That's something totally different. Right, right. Don't you know lions, male lions, when they, they sometimes size each other up, but they really trying to avoid the fight. Yeah, yeah. Lions are smart. You don't want to fight if you ain't got to. That's right. what that's talking about. Right. That's not talking about 
when the Lord returned to the earth. And he said, I came to bring a, a sword, <laughs> a not peace. That's right. You read Obadiah 1 and 8 through 11. Oh, 19. yes. Multiple Shall times. Shall not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and the understanding out of the mount of Esau? And thy mighty man, O Timah, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mountain of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Mm. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. 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 Forever, nigga. Forever? Forever. Yeah. Forever, ever, ever, ever. This motherfucker gonna wake up after he die in the fire. Hey, Esau. And he gonna wake up with shackles on his baby ankles, man. <laughs> you know? He's gonna, wake up, he's gonna be a baby with shackles. Little on. baby I'll be shackles. Cool as hell. Once that bitch get out the once that rat fall out the womb, shack him up. Shack him up. Shack him up. <laughs> For real, man. I'm gonna be cool. They got these devils got it coming, bro. Right. These motherfuckers done. I'm tired of these faggots. It says in Isaiah 64 4. For since the beginning of the world men have not heard, nor perceived by ear. Neither hath they the eye seen, O Yahweh, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waited for him. Ooh, that waited. Oh, he that he prepared that waited for him. That's right. That's right. Is that 2 1 Corinthians 2 and 9? Say that again. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9? No, this is uh, Isaiah. That's That's a precept to 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. Oh, yeah. But you got a lot of people right. who, who stopped waiting. They gave up. They came in the truth and they fell, at, fell oh, out. Wait the fuck out. That's crazy, man. They, they Ooh, never had their experience, like the Bernie Bush experience. Like They didn't, they never knew them. You know, nor did they ever really want to. If you fall out, it's because you've never been. You know, once you know the most high, man, it's like, it's impossible to just walk away and leave him forever. You know, like once you really truly know him, I mean, when you know him, that's what Satan didn't you really know him. him. You know what I mean? Like, like him. That's another one. <laughs> Appreciate it. Another one. That's Baruch. Yeah. Real 4 and 25 says, My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. For thine enemies have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. Ooh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Oh, we're going to tread upon his neck? We pray for it every day. Oh, Satan must have put that scripture in there. Yeah, it's, it's the Bible. So. I remember we used to have a guy, every time we read a scripture like that, oh, he'd be like, oh, uh, Satan put that in there. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you know they be saying that. The Bible. Oh, then it's like, oh, oh, the Bible, the Bible is written, it's been edited, yeah, but and, and it's up to them which parts is good and not. Yeah, but Joshua yeah. did the same shit. He said, he told his men, like, come, come here and put your neck on, on these king's uh, neck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was going to Genesis 49, and Judah would have his, his foot upon the neck of my enemy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what, uh. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really what. Get that. That was good. That's what the Judah, Judah has, like, I tried. Judah. You have that. Just hit it there. Get the unclean spirits right in the teeth. What's that, Psalms 50-something? Uh, we shall wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. Yeah. Well, how you about washing feet in the blood of the wicked? That's got to be amazing. You should have tapped in through the Gregory Peck up in the blood. Just tapping in it. And what they don't realize is that even David slew two boys from the tribe of Benjamin over what? Disobedience. Because it was wickedness. He went and slew a man while he was asleep. So that's the, they're, so there are two thirds. There are a lot of people in Muslims who are like the two thirds. There are those in Israel, not Israel. Yeah. And, they're, and they're, they're like they're like grenades waiting to blow up in our face right Sorry. when we're getting into a place of peace. So I got to appreciate you quoted. Uh, 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 Jeremiah 49 and 9, 8. It says, I'm going to pray. Yeah, it says, Judah, thou art shit. Judah, thou art king. Right ass jeans and shit, man. Look like they got pussies. Those are literally women pants. Like, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, literally. Yeah, they women are. pants, man. Well, he probably sucks yeah, cock. Girls, that's that's my, your favorite for the girls and shit. I seen my, uh, my nephew oh, was something yeah. like a few three years ago. And I was like, bro, I said, why are you doing that? He said, you didn't get nothing. I seen the next month after that, he was smoking weed with my sister. I, I slapped him up. So I told him he stopped wearing him jeans. Like that. That was a yeah, yeah, shit. Mm. Sister house and he was supposed Hell, to why the fuck they gonna film well, a woman ain't even supposed to win? Uh, it says Judah Dark and you know Judah who was how shy he the head. He's you know it's gonna all start with him and like you said with Jordan Harris, so he's gonna be listening by all the way. It says Judah Dark he 
be like brethren shall praise, which are what we the brethren be praising you outside. You know what I'm saying? Thy, thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. <laughs> thy father's children shall bow down before thee. <laughs> Judah's alliance wealth the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stood uh, down and crushed his lion as an old lion. Who shall rise up? Uh, Said, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be again. Shiloh. So, another isn't it interesting that the, the, the Judites, the tribesmen, the mortal tribesmen that we see in, in sports are the mightiest in their sport? You know what I mean? Like, it's interesting to see that. Like, physically mighty. You know what I mean? And we don't, a lot of people don't know the difference between mortal tribes and elders, but I tell them, I say, hey, those who that know, there's no use in having comparing or being jealous, because you're supposed to provoke Jews to jealousy. You know what I mean? If you're if you're, if you're Hebrews, we're supposed to provoke those to want to get closer to, to the most high. Yeah. You know, by walking with them. And so in my family, there's a lot of mortal Yehudites. In my family are Judites. I have to encourage them to get close as a big brother, not as a jealous sibling. Not as, and that happens a lot. There's a lot of jealous sibling rivalry going on. And it's a problem amongst people who are finite with people who are tribesmen. And it's been going on in the church. The church is still talking about the same thing. Where the tight money at, right? There'd be about 10 Israelites sitting right in their, in their congregation, none of which know who they are. No, no, no. That's the Micah chapter three passage that they eat the, the, the meat off of the, the bones of the saints. And they're, you know, they're, they're like witches and warlocks now. They're, 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 they're depriving the body. A lot of them are Freemasons. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You spoke on it, man. You know, and see, that, it's in my, that's in my family too, and I've seen it. I've seen a witchcraft and all the nonsense that goes on with it, and so I understand it because I've been around it most of my life. I've seen a lot of preachers. I've seen preachers uh, talking about yeah, but I've seen, a, I've seen a bunch of ceremonies on TV when a preacher would have a Freemasonic party or a ceremony. And they have their Freemasonic brothers come out and they all have a worship together when all their families. And they're like, it's just a regular old day. Right, right. Fucking Freemasons. Same thing with, uh, what's his name? The one that died, Andy Longstreet. Oh, yeah. They had a Freemason uh, thing. <laughs> They was like forgiving him on stage and shit. I remember they wrapped him up in the yeah, tour, yeah, tour yeah, scroll. Sure did, yeah. I mean, that was a that was a abomination. And he fucked up long story. He died. Yeah, slow. Yeah, see, he, he dressed me. Yeah. He dressed some of us up as Romans, right? So that we could get along in the, in the temples. So he dressed me up as a Roman, so I can so I can get in the temples to to, to to get in there and see what's going on. And so there's a lot of us who who are gonna understand what's going on in these temples. <laughs> My camera's out the game, son. <laughs> Damn, that's gay. We gotta turn this. All right, yo, Shalom.